So let's fly through the Latabe TVET College campuses located in the Mopani district in Limpopo. I've started our trip this time round with the view of the Great Escarpment, the Drakensberg Escarpment. And you can see Mpumalanga below you with the Blyde River Canyon. On your left you can see the land of Sekekune, which you'll find out about in another video. And to your right you can see stretching out in the distance Mozambique and the old kingdom of Gaza, which I'm also going to talk about now. And then ahead you can see the Vorkberg and Zanin, which is where we're going to go and visit. Now the reason why I've started over here is that the Bantu people, when they migrated down from the northwestern African region over a thousand years they moved all the way down and eventually they came to this area over here and the settlement initially was fairly peaceful there were San and Bushman people living in the area but basically what happened was small groups of people set themselves up separately and pretty much lived with some competition but a lot of peace in this zone. And what happened was eventually with the Mfakane and the great disruption around Shaka, one of the defeated groups, the Ndwandwe, under their leader Shoshangane, and you can hear in that name Shangan, which will give you some insight into some of the people that live here, decided to move up north and try and get away from Shaka. And that's where I'd like to start to tell the story. So let's fly into and around the Great Escarpment. And what you can see is you can see the Blyde River Canyon right down the middle on the one side. And what I want you to look for as we move over is you'll start to see extensive settlements of people under the escarpment in the center to your right. And this is due to the terrible apartheid struggles which happened in this area and basically the stripping away of land from many of the people who lived in the richer areas and then forcing the small chiefdoms to all locate and live in this area which has caused enormous unhappiness and poverty in the area. But this was also the route which Shoshangane took when he brought his people up to escape from Shaka. And this also caused major disruption in the area because basically what he did was he defeat the people, take some of their women, take their cattle and keep on moving upwards. Eventually he settled in modern day Mozambique and set up the Gaza kingdom. But even though he lived in that area, it was an extractive kingdom, especially under his son Ngungungane who basically used the guns they'd secured from the Portuguese and the slave trade which they were engaging within to create like a secondary extractive empire. So it's a complex history over here. Now we're traveling to the Marke campus and there have been all sorts of issues around this campus. You'll see that the facilities actually look quite good but not really according to recent issues going on with the students where they've been complaining about a lack of water, they've been complaining about a lack of toilets, they've been saying they've actually got to go into the felt nearby to a blute and they're scared of snakes biting them. So there's there's issues with this campus. The Latava TVET College is one of the poorest TVET colleges in the Limpopo area and the Limpopo area is one of the poorest in the country. So it really is struggling. Now, this campus does things like engineering. It does basic things like carpentry, masonry, plumbing, welding, automotive repair. It's got some business management, some transport and logistics. And I now want to pull away from that campus because I want to do the striking contrast which you're going to see as we pull over the Vorkberg which is where the Drakensberg kind of collides with another mountain range and we're going to go through the big Lataba river and what you're going to see is this is a rich commercial farming area we're flying over some pine forests which are commercial and as we move down you're going to see farms which work with avocados and tomatoes and all sorts of citrus fruits and there's an enormous tension over here because basically these rich lands have been basically over a long history been expropriated from the black peoples and taken by the whites, especially by the Boers. And one of the classic stories of that happening is actually the story of Makhoba, who was a small chief of the Butler group. And basically what happened was he resisted Paul Kruger's attempts to take his land, pay taxes and pass it on to the whites. But all that basically happened to him was he got killed by the Boer commandos and some Swazi mercenaries. 
and beheaded. And his head was presented to the Afrikaner government. And you can see the difference, or the consequences of this with the poor left-hand side and the rich right-hand side with the commercial farming. So you really do land up with a sense of enormous struggle in this area and frustration. We now flying straight into the Zanin campus. Now Zanin means basket of hills and this was one of the industrial development sites when the apartheid government was trying to work with the Gazankulu and the Leboa homelands. So they made this a, a site of investment and you can see it's a, a rather extensive campus but it's also fairly poor, not that well maintained. It's certainly better than some of the other campuses in the area and basically it offers business studies, office administration, it offers some finance and economics and accounting, it does business management and HR and some tourism. And what I want to do is I want to pull up out of Zanin and I now want to fly down through Mojaji's cliff which you can just see coming up on the one side. Now Mojaji is a place where there's a satellite campus, I've marked it for you there, but it's seldom working, there's occasionally some courses being offered there, it's either on or off so it's quite a difficult space and it's called Mojaji's cliff because it's one of the only matrilineal groupings working there of the Bolibedu people. And she's a, reputed to be a rain queen because this area seriously struggles with water and drought. Currently, actually, the rain queen isn't old enough to take over her position yet. She hasn't reached the age of 18. And now we're flying into the Guiani campus. Now, Guiani is the district capital of the Mopane district, and it was also historically the old capital of the Gazankula homelands. And those homelands, both Gazankula and Lubaba, were terribly constructed, if you can even say that. I mean, they just parceled off pieces of land. It's little bits here, little bits there, nothing makes sense, resulting in even more poverty and disintegration within the community. But that said, uh, this kind of tale of woe we're going through, at least in this campus itself, they're now looking at an extensive reinvestment, especially with the centers of specialization. So there's a strong hope that this campus is going to provide a far better experience than some of the other campuses. And this campus currently provides electrical infrastructure, automotive repair, office administration, management. It's got artisanal development in terms of being, a, if you want to be a diesel mechanic. So there's a tale of hope to kind of finish off as we pull out and try to get a sense of where the Lataba Tibet colleges are as a whole. And I'm pulling out over the different Lataba rivers. And there you can see the Khrut Lataba River running into Zanin with its rich agricultural development. You can see Palabora underneath you actually, which you'll find out about in another video. And you can see as we pull across how there are all these game farms uh, which have been located because it's near the Kruger National Park, which don't look in any way stripped in terms of the environment. And then these locations where you historically should have had rich and peaceful people living together in their small clans, enjoying life and developing, but instead you've got poverty, struggle, hardly any water, people struggling to make a living. And you've got to kind of think about that when you work with the Lataba Tivet College and the context that it's actually worked within historically.